Hi, I'm Stuart Rogers, co-founder of Badass Empire with Victoria Loskatova, and this is another episode of Badass School. Now today, we're going to be talking about how to form habits. Now, you may have heard banded around the internet all sorts of different theories on how long it takes to learn something uh, so that it becomes a daily habit. And that daily habit could be anything you like. It could be something as simple as remembering to drink four glasses of water, you know, every half a day or something like that. Uh, it could be a habit such as go out for a run every single day. Uh, it could be work related, personal related. It doesn't matter what it is. You want to build some kind of healthy habit. And you'll have heard that it takes 21 days of doing something continuously in order to form a habit. Now, that's a great number, 21 days. It sounds awesome, doesn't it? Uh, but unfortunately, like a lot of things that have been banded around the internet, I'm afraid it's not true. Um, now, you know, let's just be very, very clear about habits, about learning things, um, about becoming an expert any, in anything. There's lots of numbers thrown around all the time. Um, I like to, instead of just believing what people are telling me, I like to go and see what the research was behind that number. Um, I couldn't find any research that suggested that 21 days of doing something continuously would form a habit. Um, but what I did find uh, was there have been some studies. Uh, in particular, uh, Philippa Lally is a, a health psychology researcher at the University College London. Um, she studied people uh, who were trying to form a habit. Um, she looked at all of the data, uh, analysed their behaviour, um, checked in on them every single day uh, to see what they were doing, whether they did it, how they felt about doing it. And what she found, and I found other research that suggests this is much closer to the truth, is that on average, now we'll talk about on average in a second, on average it takes 66 days to make a behaviour become automatic, in other words, to form a habit. Now, in Lally's study, uh, it went from 18 days to 254 days for some people. Um, let's talk about how averages work for a second. When we do a study, um, we get a bell curve usually. And, you know, there's some people down at this end of the bell curve, and then there's most people around this end, and then there's a few people at this end. 66 days was the, the middle number, um, the average number. But you're going to get these outliers, people who learn very fast and are able to form automatic behaviours very quickly, and people who, uh, for them, it took much, much longer uh, for them to build a daily habit. 66 days is the average, but remember, you are not average. You are you. You are uniquely not average. We're all not average. Um, so it could be slightly less, slightly more. It could be ridiculously uh, small time, or it could be hugely long time. The most important thing is if you want to build a lasting habit, first of all, having your expectations managed is important, which is why I'm explaining to you that it's not going to be 21 days. It's not even going to be 66 days. Remember, that's the average. But at least you are now informed and you know that it's going to be longer than the internet says it's going to be. So just have that in your mind and be prepared to put in the work. And just like everything else in life, building a habit takes practice. So it's a little bit like going to the gym. Um, you don't expect to go to the gym and lift up some barbells and the next day wake up with Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, biceps. Just doesn't happen, right? If you want to build muscle and if you want to look good, not only do you have to go to the gym the appropriate amount of times um, and lift the appropriate weights, um, but when you're resting from the gym so that you can rebuild the muscle fibers that you've torn, you've got to eat the right foods as well and enough of it that you, you know, build more muscle. And it could be a year or two of doing that repetitively, you know, before you actually see the results that you want to get. And it's the same with anything else. It's the same with mental gymnastics as well as it is with physical gymnastics. So bear in mind, first of all, that on average, 66 days to form a habit. Second of all, you are going to need to be in the mindset where you are ready to practice daily at this because that is the key and that's how we build habits so there's a really good exercise um, which it's it's kind of gamifying your own brain 
Um, human brains, you know, and, and human beings in general, just from a psychological standpoint, we don't like to do what's called breaking the chain. So think of it in this way. If you had an old, you know, standard manual wall planner where you can go up and put a big red cross on a date, if you do your habit that day, you put a big red cross in the date. And your only goal is to not break the chain. So next day you do your habit, you put a red cross. Next day you do your habit, you put a red cross. And the idea is to make as long a chain as possible. By creating that kind of game, by gamifying the situation, you are more likely to continue to do that thing every single day until it becomes an automatic behavior, until it becomes a habit. So the not breaking the chain uh, you know, system is actually very powerful. And to be honest, you don't actually need much more than managing your expectations, committing to the practice, and not breaking the chain in order for you to take anything that you want to include in your life as a daily habit and achieve it. But, you know, some people are not analog and don't have old year planners and red markers. Um, in fact, the majority of us these days are digital. Um, certainly I am, can't remember the last time I used a pen to be honest. Um, and so we do have some apps available for us to help us. And the one that I have tried out among the entire set of the Not Break the Chain apps that really grabbed me, that I thought was really good, um, it was very well designed, very slick, very smart. Um, it had the right type of notifications on the phone just to say, hey, it's time to do your thing. Um, and then it had this wonderful system whereby if you did break the chain, and by the way, do not beat yourself up if you do break the chain, but if you did break the chain, it was very good at getting you back into it. Um, you know, and of course there are times when you, you know, just part, can't possibly do your thing that day. You know, life is still going on around you. Lots of things are still happening around you. Um, you know, you have things that you need to achieve. Uh, there are external forces, there are situations that happen with your friends, family, etc., etc. It means you are going to at some point break the chain. But this app was very good at getting you back into it. Um, it's called Everyday. Um, it is available on, of course, Apple and Android. Um, it's beautifully designed. Um, it just simply follows the don't break the chain principle. It gives you a very nice visual display of your progress, and that's incredibly important. Um, you know, if you remember the days of being a kid and doing some chores and uh, getting a gold star from your parents and stuck up on the board, you know, that's the kind of little dopamine hit that keeps you going and keeps you wanting to do it every single day. Um, and, you know, there's all sorts of uh, browser extensions as well. So as well as using the everyday app on your smartphone, if you happen to be on your browser, there's a browser extension as well. So you can keep on just marking that you have done your thing. There's no excuses. It's available on every device um, and it's completely free. And the people who make everyday say it's free forever. Um, I'm going to you know hold them to that word. Um, I think it's brilliant. It completely conforms with the idea of not breaking the chain. It will help you to build habits. Um, as I say, it's just an aid. You still have to be in the right mindset, manage your expectations, commit to the practice, and do it every day. But on top of that, using the Everyday app, which you can find at everyday.app, fortunately enough, is just going to really help you to make that difference and to form that habit that you want in your life. So, I hope that really helps you. Um, if you want some more knowledge on business, marketing, and lifestyle, Badass Summit runs every month. You can go to badasssummit.com, sign up, and watch it all for free. And uh, we unlock seven speakers every single day. If you miss anybody or if you want to rewatch stuff, um, all you have to do is just buy the very, very cost effective all access pass, and you get access to everything forever, plus over $1,000 worth of speaker bonuses. So, go check out badasssummit.com. Um, thank you for being our patron, and uh, once again, we'll see you soon on another episode of Badass School. Thank you.